everyone. Hello, peoples. So, I enjoy sharing with you and this is one of my most important messages to women. I read last night a blog, so I will include the link below. Today is the day you break up with your boyfriend. Alright? So, let me just read to you a quick quote from the book, The World Beats a Father. This book changed my life. Actually, it already echoed what it is, what's in my heart, but uh, I want to share it with you. So, Virtually every major social pathology has been linked to fatherlessness. Violent crime, drug and alcohol abuse, teen pregnancy, suicide, all correlate more strongly to fatherlessness than to any other single factor. So why am I so passionate in talking to single women? Because the choice that you will make and the kind of man that you will allow into your heart will not just affect you but will affect your children, your future, and um, it will either dictate suffering or a good life for you. And I want you to be put into the good and we need to heal this world. And we can heal this world by having more single women knowing their worth and choosing a real man, not a boy, okay? So today I'm gonna share with you uh, Six signs that he is just a boy. He is not yet a real man. Are you ready? Okay. One, a boy is someone who leads you to sin. Okay? He doesn't respect your body. He doesn't. And it's also because he leads you to hell somehow. Uh, because he doesn't have a strong faith in God yet. And remember, it is not your duty to bring him closer to God. Why am I saying this? There's this woman I know, and she had a she had her best friend became her husband. So she knew from the get go that her husband doesn't have a close, serious relationship with God, but she still went for it because they were best friends. And what happened to her was when they got married, her best friend cheated on her so many times and she said she said i married the right guy but it felt like i should have married him in god's time i should have let him he be healed first have a relationship with god first because without a relationship with god he does not take the ten commandments seriously do not commit adultery so there you have it so he has to have a strong faith in God he should have strong morals himself and not just tolerating your morals okay number two a boy is someone who is not clear and intentional ladies whether you like it or not a man will be the one who will lead a relationship so imagine how he would be as a husband as a father if he doesn't even if he cannot even lead in the courtship stage so please, 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 please. Don't marry a torpe in other words. Um, so let him have a pray, you know, God, if this is the right man for me, if he is the one you have chosen for me, give him the courage to pursue me because if he will not be man enough to do this thing, how can I expect him to be man enough to handle the, the heavy responsibilities of being a husband and a father? Okay, number three. A boy who cannot stand being alone actually I know about this but um, it got me I know that it has to be something I should share because I, I also heard it from boiling waters which is comprised of boys in their podcast and they said you have to make sure that he just didn't come from a relationship fresh from a relationship and now he's with you oh my gosh please save yourself from major major heartache because a real man will be able to really be by himself even a woman you be by yourself be happy being single and not find happiness in another person because that's too much responsibility for a person so it's gonna break down okay number four a boy who cheats on you a boy who cheats on you i've heard horrible stories of women who found out that the guy cheated on them 
And you know what they did? They did not break up with a the guy. They wanted to prove that they were better than the other girl. Oh my gosh, it's it's just so disastrous, okay? So, as is, will be. I learned this from a couple, 60 years married. And the girl, the woman, her name is Darlin Sela. She is glowing in her olden years because she chose the right man, Harold Sela. And she said, remember this, this is what we always tell singles and they have a ministry all over the world. And she said, as is, will be, and even more so. As is, will be, and even more so. So if he cheats on you now, or you know he has a girlfriend, ikaw mismo uuntog kita eh. If he has a girlfriend and he's using you, and he's cheating on his girlfriend, guess what he is capable of doing to you? So do not expect him to be faithful if that's not a part of his system yet, okay? And another thing that you have to realize, for example, there is such a thing as generational sins. I've said this so many times. For example, your father is a an alcoholic or a womanizer. Guess what? There is such a thing as homing instinct. What is homing instinct? It's something you're comfortable with. It's something you're at home with. So without you even realizing it, you're attracting the same kind of men. Even if you said, I'm never gonna marry someone like my father. So, the crucial thing is to really get yourself healed, be filled with God's love, know your worth, be filled with the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit will tell you, eh, eh, eh. the alarm bells will come, you know. Oh, nawala na yung notes ko. Dahil sobrang passionate ko dun. Okay. So, if he cheats on you, girl, break up with him. Utang na loob. Okay, next. A boy who is not responsible. Okay. I have a girl crush before. She is the older sister of a good friend of mine. And I find her very, very pretty. However, I know that they still have a lot of family issues to, to heal. And healing has to happen Alam mo, while you're still single, so you don't pass on the same curses um, to people that you love, to your children. Anyway, so this girl, she's very beautiful. She got pregnant before marriage. Uh, that's for another talk. Why do we need to keep ourselves pure? And not and only give ourselves when we, we are virgin. when we are in the bounds of marriage. Why don't you just name it Remain a Virgin? Because uh, because, <laughs> because there is such a thing. There are people who have who didn't know their worth before, who weren't taught well, they weren't aware, and they gave themselves away. And God is not saying you are hopeless. No, there is such a thing as second chance virginity wherein you will tell God, Lord, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. I am yours. My body is yours. So this time, I will confess this sin, and I am yours. And you know... I love it. The meaning of holy is to be set apart. So w- without holiness, one cannot see God. So so many people are lost. So, lost in space. So when you are holy, you are set apart and you are elevated to a higher purpose. Oh my gosh, that's for a different talk, but I hope that spoke to your heart. Okay, number f- yun nga, a boy is, So this friend, this beautiful elder sister of my friend, she married a guy who doesn't have a stable job and you know she got pregnant and they thought the solution was marriage so they got married and you know what happened why didn't they just break up i know they thought that marriage will be the solution okay guys remember that the intention of the things that we do is so important oh my gosh what will people think we should just get married no let the child you know give birth to the child give it a year if you still want to marry the person marry but do not marry while you are still so confused and you know do not make it as a, as a solution so anyway what happened do not this? marry when you're still narrow-minded do not yeah do not marry when your mind is not clear to think okay that's why it's so important to remain pure because it will help but you girl, think give clearly yourself a slap in the face and think is this right <laughs> okay next is uh, so a boy who was so when they got married this is what happened the guy started to um the girl is the one um, working for the family so, so she became the breadwinner of the family she milks the hobbies of her husband she pays for his hobbies and then came the point where in the guy said we have to separate and she was like what i'm doing everything and you're gonna separate with me and the guy said yes because i have to find myself wow Lopet, they have two kids he has to find himself <sighs> 
That's why I always say, Master first, God first. God will reveal your mission, and you will be wiser to choose who will be your mate. Okay. Master is your mate. And then, no, 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 no. Yes. Do not make it messy. Do not make it mate. I used to be like that before. Mate, messy, and miserable. No, 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 no. Enough. Enough of the devil deceiving us women. Enough. Okay. Last but not the least, a boy who does not have self control. What does that mean? Someone who abuses you. Someone who has addictions, whether that's gambling, whether that's drinking. Honey, if if it's eating, is it okay? <laughs> you have to find a man who has self-control, who has discipline. Wait, because what if you have the addiction? Because, wait, we're gonna go to that. Because if a man cannot control himself, cannot lead himself, how will he be like? as a husband and as a father remember this when you choose a guy do not think oh do i like his car diba okay la pwede naman yung sa wish list pero utuhanahin mo if i end up with this guy if i end up marrying this guy and we end up having daughters will i be excited that my daughter someday will marry somebody just like him that's the question to ask and if we get married and we happen to have sons Will I be so excited that our sons will become just like him? Yun ang mga tanongin mo, girl. Okay, so let me summarize. For the side of the women, because this is not just all about guys, I'm gonna go through that next video. Women, wrong intentions we have in getting into a relationship because we can also be the very wrong person. Okay, and that's not healthy. We're gonna go to that in the next video. So, a boy who leads you to sin, who doesn't have a strong faith in God, solid relationship. Two, a boy who's not clear and intentional. Ikaw pa dapat manligaw. Ano ba? Gusto mo manligaw all your life. Okay. Three, a boy who cannot stand being alone. So, lagi na lang rebound after rebound after rebound. Four, a boy who cheats on you. Five, a boy who is not responsible. And six, a boy who doesn't have self-control. There you have it. I hope this blessed you. So let me just give you recommendations if you want to dive in deeper into these topics because I'm very passionate about this. I recommend Brother Bo's books, How to Avoid Jerks and Jerkettes. I also recommend this book. Um, I love this book. How to Find Kinover ko siya. So sobrang love ko siya, okay? It's not that I don't love Brother Bo's book. It's just there was a time I was inspired to wrap it. Or I, this is what's an, an extra, anyway, don't make excuses. it. So, how to find your soul without, how to find your soulmate without losing your soul. So, there, okay? And, of course, <laughs> makakalimutan ko ba? Why is my forever taking forever? This is available in the bookstores nationwide. I'm so happy. It's sold out in a number of bookstores, fully booked and national. You can also order it national online. National in Alca, in the SM Rosales. It was out of stock. Everyone was looking for it. Oh, there goes my niece. Next time, you're gonna meet her because she is also filled with wisdom. But for now, her role in this video is to be my director. Okay, so I'm gonna pray for you now. Let us put ourselves in the presence of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, I have given my heart so many times away recklessly and did not realize how precious my heart is to you. Help me, Lord, to see myself as you see me, to take good care of my heart the way you take good care of my heart. Help me say yes to your protection. And Lord, give me the courage and the love. You know, you are loving a guy when you're saying no to him and he is still a boy. The love, the power to break up with a guy that is not good for me, to say no to a suitor that I know deep within my heart I don't have peace with. And help me enjoy this time together with you. And reveal the beauty and allow you to reveal the most beautiful plans you have laid out for my life. And help me have the courage to walk in them. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye. Bye. Bye.